We've got breaking news in world football as Ilkay Gundogan will complete his transfer over to Barcelona, leaving Manchester City as a free agent as of now. This was just reported by Fab, extremely trustworthy source. So Ilkay Gundogan is on the way to Barcelona. And man, what can I say? Xavi definitely knows a workhorse midfielder when he sees one. What a great move here by Xavi in Barcelona. Obviously, there's going to be conversations around how can they even afford this what's going on with the club but putting all of that to the side bringing in such an experienced midfielder a treble winning midfielder to kind of take Gavi and Pedri under his wing and De Jong we cannot forget about De Jong because Barcelona still also does have De Jong whether or not he's going to stay is a story for a different day but taking those three guys under his wing showing them just what it takes to be a top level midfielder what a move here by Barcelona. Now, we've obviously seen another team in Spain here as of recently make some big moves in their midfield with Real Madrid getting Jude Bellingham. So these two massive, massive clubs in the world and in Spain now have some of the best midfielders in the world. We've got Barcelona with De Jong, Pedri, Gavi, Gundogan. We've got Real Madrid with Modric, Valverde. They still got Cruz hanging around there. They've got Bellingham. They've got Camavinga. These midfields are absolutely insane here in Spain. In Spain, Midfield, obviously, where the whole play goes through. You need a strong midfield to be a strong team to make a push at the Champions League. Do you guys think that Ilkay Gundogan will bring Barcelona to Champions League level? I personally don't think so. But I did run a poll on my TikTok, which if you're not following already, just hit the, my link tree down below. All of my links are there. I asked the people... With this Gundogan transfer, who has the best midfield in Spain? Is it Real Madrid or is it Barcelona? And 59% of people still went for Real Madrid, which is expected. Real Madrid obviously built for the future through that midfield. They've got young players all around the team. Real Madrid doing a great job of this transition period between some of their older guys to some of their younger guys. Now Madrid completely set for the future. But let me know in the comments down below. Can Gundogan win a Champions League at Barcelona? Is Barcelona's midfield now better than Real Madrid's midfield? I personally say no to both, but regardless, this move 100% makes Barcelona better, not just right now, but the impact that Gundogan is going to have on Pedri and Gavi's career is going to be immense. Great play by Laporta here, great play by Xavi, great play by Barcelona. How they're going to figure this all out financially, I have no idea, but that's not up to me. But I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, just hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10 subscribers. I'm not asking for too much here. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below the answer to Ken Gundogan win a Champions League and whose midfield is better in Spain. I'll catch you on the next one. It's been the crossover. Peace.